Hello, and welcome to Stretch and Release with myself, Wade Stevens, at Team MK Fitness. So today, we are going over some stretches that are primarily focused around desk work, um, possibly couch work, or text work, or stay-at-home work. So a lot of things where you're in a seated position, kind of rounded forward, typing, texting, and we're gonna focus a lot on kind of forearms, shoulders, back, as well as just a little bit through the legs. Uh, before we start, I wanted to make a few announcements. Um, make sure you're coming in tonight for Cycling with Alicia at 545. Tomorrow we're gonna have Total Body Burn with Adam. That is on Facebook Live at 945. And then that night we have Hit Boxing with Elena at 5.45 p.m. And also, we have word of the day going on. So if you email megan.powell at hfitcenter.com, and we'll put that link in the comments right afterwards. Um, if you comment the word of the day, you will have a chance to win one of three cool prizes. Um, check our Facebook out for more on those prizes. But the word of the day today is gratitude. Uh, gratitude um, for having what we have, um, gratitude turns what we have into enough. So feel free to email that to megan.powell, or if you happen to be in the center today, you can just let the front desk know and we'll get you signed into that raffle. But as we start today, we're gonna grab either a softball, a baseball. If you don't happen to have those, just your hand works. We're gonna start massaging the forearm here, right through the hip flexors. So you can use the palm of your hand to kind of push down in there. And that top part of your forearm, your hand is gonna be flipped over. We're gonna massage that for about 30 seconds whether you're rolling it on a ball, whether you're sticking a weight on there, pressing down into it deep, or just using your hand. Any tools you have sometimes make it easier, but sometimes it does feel really nice just to dig in there with your own hands too. We'll spend about 30 seconds there massaging that top part of the forearm. And what you're trying to do here is start to loosen that up. Your forearm has a tendency to stay very tight. You'll find that a lot of times you have a tendency to have your hands in when you're texting, they'll be in when you're typing, when you're driving. Um, very seldom do you have your hands out unless you're a waiter or you are cracking open sodas. Uh, so very often you'll have your hands in. So we're trying to release that tension right there. After you've massaged that for about 30 seconds, we're gonna do a stretch for your forearm flexors. Um, this one is gonna be against a wall and I'm gonna show you against a wall and then I'll come forward towards the camera for you. You'll have your fingers spread out. You'll set that hand against the wall and then push your palm into it. I would start just with your hand a little bit lower, and if that feels a little bit easy, raising your hand up makes it a little harder. So we'll do that stretch for about 30 seconds. If you don't have a wall, you happen to be in an open field watching this video, you can use your hands, but I'm trying to give you lots of options no matter where you might be. But right now, you're just trying to bring those fingers down, stretching out all the way here across the forearm. Um, this is a very common injury if you have carpal tunnel, if you have tennis elbow, if you have maybe even issues with your elbow when you're doing pull-ups or one-armed rows, this can definitely help those kind of issues too. So, tons of options there. Um, once you've finished about 20 to 30 seconds there, we're gonna go the opposite way. Um, in that last stretch, you had your fingers open. In this stretch, I'm gonna have you kind of close your fingers. And what I like to do when I do this is use my other hand to help close those fingers as we do an extensor stretch. So this is stretching the opposite side. You're getting that stretch all the way across here. Um, still helps a lot of different elbow issues. This can even help shoulder and back issues. Um, you'll find that a lot of times, because your body is so connected, you'll have issues in a hand or a wrist that may be affecting your shoulder or your back. So even if you don't have any issues in these particular areas, it's still good to help stretch those out a little bit. And then our last one, we'll come back to that flexor stretch, fle stretching out those fingers. If you are against a wall, try to grab with two fingers here on your opposite side, your thumb, and do a little extra stretch for the thumb. So there's one muscle that stretches all of your fingers all the way across, and it's a completely different muscle that stretches your thumb all the way across. So if you can get a little deeper stretch there in that thumb, um, totally different muscle. Um, it's common with like Texter's thumb, if you happen to swipe left a lot, or even swipe right, you'll find that you'll have some issues there in that thumb that happen to get tight if you're doing that with your thumb a lot. But doing that stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds and then slowly switching sides. So hopefully you got a good stretch out there and that fits my right arm, could be your left, and then we'll switch to that massage on the other side there. And what you're doing in that massage again is trying to loosen up that muscle. 
Um, I like to, when I massage, keep my fingers straight out. Instead of flexed in, I feel like I can get just a little bit deeper. And that's common with almost every version of myofascial release. You'll always want to be in a little bit more stretched position when you're digging in there deep. And you can do this with, again, a softball, a weight, a barbell, your hand. Once you've finished about 30 seconds there, we'll switch to that flexor stretch. Fingers out against the wall. Down low is an easier version. Up high is a little bit harder. And again, this is helping with uh, carpal tunnel. This is helping with issues in your elbow, tennis elbow. Um, I happened to get a lot of elbow pain when I was curling and deadlifting. Um, it turned out it was a tight muscle here in my thumb, just on the left side. So that stretch we're going to do here in a little bit was definitely one that I've done a lot of for helping with that issue. Once you've finished about 30 seconds there, switching that hand the other way, and again trying to bring your fingers in. You'll even find if you keep your fingers straight and do this stretch, and then you curl them in, you'll find that stretch get a little bit more intense as you curl them in. And that's another reason why you're trying to keep those curled in to get a little deeper stretch and all those extensions. And then after you finish that, fingers out again against the wall. And if you have the ability to, grabbing your fingers, stretching out that thumb as well. And this is the stretch I had to put a lot of focus on. It's just on my left arm. Um, I got it from doing something when I was deadlifting. I would tilt my arm just slightly one way and I happened to get a lot of tightness in this one muscle. So, and I've since fixed that, but this stretch has helped all that pain in my elbow feel much, much better. And we'll spend about 20 to 30 seconds doing that as well. Once you've finished that, we're moving into a tricep stretch. So you can stand for this one. It's just if I stand and come too close, my head will cut off. So I'm gonna kneel down on this one, lifting up my right arm, lifting that arm up, and feeling that stretch across my tricep. And you might notice, we'll do this one again for about 30 seconds. As you're stretching, we kind of started here in the forearm, moving up to the tricep, then we're moving into the chest. Because your body is connected, we're trying to keep that stretch going in that connected chain. So we started down here, moving up a level, up a level to the chest next, and we'll just slowly keep working our way up. After you finish that one arm, switch sides, lifting that elbow straight up, using that other arm to help push it maybe just a little bit further. I'll feel this stretch in my lats as well. Um, I have naturally tight lats, so this is a stretch for multiple muscles at the same time, but that is where I happen to feel the most of it. And this is a very great exercise for desk work again. Um, if you happen to be sitting around on your couch just a little bit extra, it's a good stretch for that too. Once you've finished that side, moving on to a chest stretch. We'll start with that right arm, putting that against the wall, keeping a straight arm, and then tilting to the side. So as you tilt, you want to push with this part of your hand right here on the bottom. So when I do it, I actually tilt my hand a little bit just to guarantee that I'm pushing kind of through the chest. And I'll feel it a lot more through the chest when I'm pushing with the bottom part of my hand than if I happen to be pushing with the top part of my hand. So, and as you push, try and keep your scapula down, back, and get all that stretch here through the chest. And we're gonna do two sets for each side. Right now your arm is straight. Give it about 10 more seconds here. We'll make sure you're feeling all that stretch all throughout. One benefit to this stretch is it is stretching fingers, forearms, through the elbow, and through the chest. You're feeling all that in just this one stretch. One benefit to this next stretch is that you're really focusing in on the chest really hard. So we're gonna have your elbow against the wall with your hand up, like you can see it. Hand is up, and then you'll tilt to the side. With that elbow pressing against the wall, you'll feel that stretch a lot more intense where you're focusing on, but you won't get that same benefit through the forearm and through the wrist, so. Um, I also naturally have a pretty tight chest. You'll have tight chests if you do a lot of driving, or if you're texting, or sitting at your desk a lot, your shoulders will round forward and your chest will happen to tighten up, so. Or bench press can cause that sometimes. So when you have that extra tight chest, doing this stretch from your elbow sometimes helps you dig in there just a little bit deep. And then we'll switch sides coming from your hand on that opposite side. And again, that bottom part right there should be having most of the pressure 
You can leave your hand straight, but just a slight tilt, pushing through that bottom part, and you'll feel it come all the way through the chest, just a little bit deeper. And I, a lot of times, like to resist against it a little bit. Um, if that wall was made of putty, my hand would dig into the wall just a little bit, because I like to feel that tension all through the chest and all through the arm as well. But there are multiple ways you can stretch, lots of different options. Um, your body moves in all planes, it moves all over the place, so there's very few wrong ways to do a stretch, as long as you're feeling that stretch. Um, next, we'll go from the elbow, setting that against the wall, and then tilting to the side. And again, as your elbow's against there, try and keep that pressure down here towards the elbow and not up in the hand. So if you happen to be against a door frame, sometimes people will keep their hand with all that pressure. So they'll feel their hand kind of tilting back and their elbow won't actually be against the wall. Keep all that pressure of the wall right here in your elbow and that'll help dig into your chest. So I'm giving it about 10 more seconds here. And then for time's sake, I think we will just do one set of this next exercise. This next one we'll kind of do exact same as chest. Um, you have the option to do this from your elbow or from your hand. We're gonna do it from your hand, but I'll have you keep this part of your hand right here in the palm on the table. So that is on the table here. If you have a table, you can do this on a wall, you can do this on the ground, you can do this on a nightstand, on a desk, really anywhere. You will place your hips back, hands on the table, and then just start lowering your head lower and lower, feeling that stretch through your lats. You'll be stretching through the chest. And the lower you get your head, the more you'll feel that stretch all throughout. But give that one about 15 more seconds. Taking your time with it. Um, this is a spot that most people have a lot of natural tightness. So this is one that you can spend a little extra time on and it's usually very beneficial. And we have two stretches left. Um, this next one is a hip flexor stretch. So one of the biggest focuses on today was sitting in a desk, sitting on a couch and making sure that you're nice and stretched out in those positions. So you'll find when I'm sitting that my knees are bent, my hip flexors are really tight, um, my hamstrings are tight because my knees are bent here, and that my shoulders tend to round forward and everything kind of sinks forward. So we stretched all of the front, trying to open up a little bit. So we're also gonna stretch the hip flexors and the hamstrings here too. So hip flexors, a very easy stretch, and one of my favorites is to just step forward, keeping your knee pointed straight ahead, and then slightly leaning forward. So. Some common issues or errors with the stretch, you'll find people focus really hard on that leaning forward and then their hips just open up to the side and it turns out they're not even stretching their hip flexors at that point. So try and keep both of your hips pointed straight ahead, your stomach really tight, and then just slowly press forward until you feel that kind of stretch out the hip flexors there. It's not about how far forward you can go, it's about trying to feel that stretch and gain some mobility through your hip flexors. And issues here can cause um, issues in your back, issues in your knees. Hip flexors are a very important area to stretch. Go ahead and switch sides. And a lot of times for efficiency sake, you'll see people combining stretches. They'll do like an arm stretch with this hip flexor stretch. Um, but today, where we're talking about form, keeping your stomach tight, keeping your hips pointed straight ahead. Um, today, we're just gonna focus on that form through this one exercise instead of adding extra elements to it. And then digging that knee down in deep, coming forward, feeling that right there through the hip flexor. And on this one, you want to be cautious not to lean forward too much. You want your head tall, your stomach engaged, and rest. And our last stretch here is just gonna be a hamstring stretch, reaching down and touching your toes, keeping your hips back, your legs straight, should be able to come down slowly, touch your toes. If you can touch the floor, awesome. But holding that for about 10, 15 seconds. And a deep breath in. And relax. And that is it for today. Remember the word of the day is gratitude. Uh, grateful for you, grateful for Team K Fitness and all of our members out there. Um, don't forget to tune in to Adam tomorrow on Facebook Live at 945, Total Body Burn. And that's it for today.
Great job. We'll see you guys tomorrow.